Hello and welcome everyone. In today's video, we are going to discuss sales return orders. Those are documents that can be generated within Business Central to take care of items that are being shipped back to us from our customers. So how do we do that? As you can see here, I've already opened the document, but if you want to get to it, it's always possible to search here for sales return order. Get on the page and obviously it's possible to create or open an existing one. In this case, I'm going to open this one here that we already worked on and think about the sales return order as the reverse of the sales order. So it's something that the customer is shipping back to us. So like with the sales order, there's two parts to this. There's the inventory part of things or the materials that are being shipped back to us or the items that are being shipped back to us, but there's also the financial side. So in this example, we have imagined that the customer, our loyal customer has decided to send back like two items because they have a problem or because like they just have decided that they don't need them. So we're going to take care of them and, and we're going to take them back. So we have quantity two, but if you scroll here to the right, you will notice that on this specific sales return order, uh, I have already received one of the two. I have not invoiced anything yet, but I've already received one of the items. So this leaves one item yet to be received. So how do we do that? Well, we make sure that the one here is uh, in this column. So, and that is like already been done. And we're gonna click post. And as like further sales order, we are presented with option. But you'll notice here, the wording is a little different. We have receive, we have invoice and receive an invoice. Obviously receive, because we are in this case, receiving the inventory back. Uh, so we're going to select that. We're going to just do that in this case. You notice that if we now scroll here to the right, the return quantity received is now moved up to two. Now this has behind the scene generated another posted document to take care of the inventory. It is possible to go and view that from here by searching for a posted return receipt. There we go. Now we search, we order by uh, the latest one. This is the one that we have just generated. That the system has generated for us actually. And you will see here the item with quantity one that we received back into our inventory. And there you have it. So this is how you receive items back into your inventory using a sales return order. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching this video from NavSeal. Check out more right here. NavSeal offer assistance and counsel on any existing solution. So if you're in need of assistance, don't hesitate to contact us on NavSeal.com or LinkedIn. Consider leaving a like and subscribe for more tips, news, and guides to anything Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central.